Here we go to the face-off X. Brady Wambach right there for North Carolina going up against Colin Hoban, 53 in black, and a violation to Stark gives it to the Tar Heels, get it over to Petromala and back through McGovern at X to start things off. There's Owen Duffy, the leading scorer for this North Carolina team. 22 goals, 16 assists for 38 points here in his freshman year. Extremely impressive. It was him and McCabe Millen, the back and forth, who's number one in the class of 2023. Some outlets chose Millen, others chose Duffy, both having great freshman years as Petromala rips on the pass from Tillman. He's been running a lot of midfield here in 2024. Petromala missed last season due to an injury. In front, the cutter, the finish. James Matten gets the party started at Dorrance Field. One to nothing lead for the Tar Heels on the nice look. The feed in front, and Matten just has to find the back of the net, sneaks it past over end for North Carolina is Tolman, Gepper, and Barton. Tolman, a freshman from Merrick, New York, as here's Barton on the one-on-one. -on -one. Jack Van Overbeck loses it in the middle. Free ground ball picked up by Antonio DeMarco. Barton in the middle. Numbers for North Carolina. Here's the fast break. Two pulls on offense. Barton fires. What a save over end. Gets low and hits the grass just in time. A good save to start things off. First save of the day between either goalie. First for Overend. Van Overbeck has it back. A quick fire, and Krieg answers with a save of his own. Quick work, great outlet for McGovern. To fire there, Krieg was all over it, so he has one save as well as Overend here as now Logan McGovern, the transfer from Bryant in his second year as a Tar Heel. Getting his Masters here at North Carolina. Petromala inside, wide open, and picks the corner. Goes low to make it two to nothing as the Tar Heels get out to a fast start. Two goals so far unanswered. On a run through X. Jack Sawyer loads up on the dodge. Gets topside, great trail check from the freshman Tillman. Picked up the D mid 19 and care. Everyone getting a touch, 13 man up goals for North Carolina this year. Here's Owen Duffy, leading scorer for the Tar Heels in his freshman season. McGovern, the quarterback back door, what a play. Makes high point, lose it, Ryan Levy. The junior from right here in Chapel Hill gets on the board to make it. Bresci, the short stick D made a captain for North Carolina this year. Last time these two teams faced off, it was a 16 to nine win here in Chapel Hill. The feed in front doesn't connect. Intended for Matt Lutzel. Free ball, DJ Zinzer with it. One of the biggest concerns for this Tar Heel team so far this season has been the ability of their midfield to produce. Petromala in front, low shot. Matt Reedy, the sophomore from Montclair, New Jersey, goes low to low and makes it a four to nothing game. Left in the first quarter. Back through X again. Maia trying to get free. He's guarded by the freshman Toman and a shot fading away. Easy back in with Matten as well as Lance Tillman and Antonio DeMarco. Here's McGovern coming above, inverting, still has the pull. Back through X. DeMarco with the shorty matchup. Has the step, goes low, he scores! Antonio DeMarco extends the lead and makes it a 5-0 game with just under two minutes to play in the first penalty they had when Tyler Schwartz got the illegal body check on 
Meehan. So now 30 seconds to work, a minute 10 on the clock. Up top, Van Overbeck. Gives it back, Murphy, great ball movement, high point. Finally getting it done, Isaiah Moran Weeks. Zips it in on the bouncer with 1-0. Patrick, hematology, oncology at UNC Children's. All proceeds and donations benefit local children fighting cancer. So an even bigger reason to be out here today for this one. Five to one lead for North Carolina on the power play and it's a two minute penalty as fake low go high. Logan McGovern gets his first of the day. Three points now for McGovern and back to the five point lead for North Carolina. Finding the back of the net. Now high point gets it off the face off. On the restart, Rizzo gives it right back for Tommy Meehan, who's got the short stick matchup against Ty English. There's the pick. Meehan on a run, dishes outside. Maya to the front. Low bouncer whizzes wide. Maya, his first shot of today's game. Van Overbeck, the senior from St. Paul, Minnesota. Moves it around, Maya goes up top for Meehan. Maryland product, Van Overbeck, the cut. Bouncer, high point. Answering the call and much needed there. Good goal from Colin Cook, the red shirt junior, to make it a 7-2 game. Has the fifth most goals on this high point team as Wambach back in the circle against Accardo. Tire gets it for a moment, taken away. Coming down with speed. Posen gets it back, fires high. Just outside of the cage as he's rocked. And he goes down. Official calls his own time once again. And this time I do not see a flag. I know. Fires wide, stays with the Panthers. Shots right now, 13 to 10 is high point. Started to get it going. And the shot from Jack Van Overbeck. 7-3 game. Here's DeMarco, gives it back for Lance Tillman from Highlands Ranch, Colorado in his final year of eligibility. Fires from outside. Tillman. Makes it an 8-3 game. Tar Heels up by five. Rizzo gets it to Meehan. Meehan frees up the hands. Krieg stick side, easy. Outlet pass. Watch out, big hit. Maya rocks him, but good pass from Barton. Here's the fast break. Move once. Duffy, low, back up. Maya coming all the way. From the offense, 32 seconds on the shot clock. Still time to run it for North Carolina. Up by five. McGovern around the crease. Takes the check, but has the finish. Makes it nine to three as the Tar Heels. One away from double digit goals already with 6.45 left in the second. McGovern. He's going with the 1 4 1. Meehan dodges to initiate. Cook down the side, slides, comes quick. Geppert's there, step down. Rizzo in, gets it, and the flag. High point. Makes it 9 to 4. Nick Rizzo finds the back. 15th ranked team in the country and the latest inside lacrosse pull. And 23 seconds still left on that penalty from the delay of game. Logan McGovern couldn't specifically see what that delay of game was because a lot of different things can 
make that penalty. So it's just a 30 second. As here's seven seconds left. Murphy fires from outside, goes high. Van Overbeck gets the backup, but three seconds on the penalty. Feet in front, drizzles. Frankenheimer picks it up out of the crease, and now Ty English on a run, and perfectly times. McGovern comes in from the box, and North Carolina can run a six-on-six -six offense. Here's Duffy, spins, fires! That doesn't look like a freshman to me. Owen oh, Duffy, leading scorer for North Carolina, puts them in double figures, 10-4, to four, Tar Heels on top. Down the alley and fills it for Van Overbeck. Over the top, Cook frees up the hands, fires wide. Van Overbeck on the other side behind backing up was Tommy Meehan, who usually is up at the top. Now he takes a shorty behind at X. Just above GLE. Gets it to the top, Nick Rizzo. Here's Cook again. Low angle, fires outside of the goal, still free. Krieg gets the ground ball, keeps a foot in the crease to bring it back in. Krieg's having a good day so far. Five saves for, for Duffy. He's going to throw it to Tillman at X, who set a record back in 2022 for Bryant's single season program record in assists, had 35. Duffy inside on the side of the net, now over end, picks it up. Similar situations on both sides as the ride from North Carolina stays strong. Van Overbeck finds an opening. Maya, low angle. He slips it through. Krieg thought it went by for a moment. So the clock. Overend's out of the cage here. Gets back in, McGovern tries to get it. Overend there just in time for his 10th save, already in double digits. Great performance so far by Zach Over. A lot of questions about what Duke's ceiling truly is. A team that went to the national championship a year ago. People thought they'd run it back to get revenge. Tillman fires! Second goal of the day. A nice move, fires the bouncer, five hole, makes it 11-5. Rizzo kept outside. Cook, the feed in front, Maya fires low, blocking the shot is Frankenheimer. He has to walk that one off on a stinger. Grazes past the cage, going wide, Duffy on the backup. Duffy moves it. Zinsner with the shot and another save for Zach Overend. 11 to McGovern, four points on the day. Had a seven assist game earlier this year. As it gets thrown high, out of reach for Trevor Dubner. High point, gets it. And taking it the other way. On the run, Tyler Baird, grad student, defensive midi. Sits in the middle. Van Overbeck in front, opens up the cage and finishes. Makes it 11-6, high point back within five. Jack Van Overbeck leads the team in assists. He's got four today. Finally gets one himself. Five points taken on the high point Panthers for the eighth time in program history. 7-0 all time as Accord gets the faceoff win for the Panthers. Trying to pick up what they left off as a shot from the pole. Corey O'Connor gets tripped up and stay. Going up top, Cook. Back through X, Van Overbeck in for Maya. Well defended by Ty English. Cook with some space. North Carolina's got to recover, they do. Here's Rizzo. Van Overbeck pulls Barton right on GLE. Gets pushed, pass on the ground. Toman picks it up. 
English. As they get over, they're 15 of 19 clearing the ball today. That makes it 16 of 20. They've only had four misses. North Carolina has been perfect, 19 of 19. And when you look at those big stats right now, High Point does lead in faceoffs, which isn't always indicative of the score. Freeing up the hand, shooting low. Ian Kahn, the freshman from Roanoke, Virginia. Snipes one home with 12.27 left in the fourth quarter. Makes it 11-7. Been quite some time since the game's been that close. Hasn't been that close since the Tar Heels were up three to nothing. Over top, Hines fires. Almost the same shot. A bouncer to the offside stick makes it 11-8. And High Point only down by three. From Calvert Hall, a transfer from Maryland. Was with the backup, gets it to Maia. Tied for the NCAA leading goals with 32. Fifth in points. Trying to get top side, great defense from Geppert. Coming from Brown, Sawyer tries the flip from Maia and drops it. Krieg has it now, Maia closing in. Goes outside for Geppert. Geppert from Alton Bay, New Hampshire, Phillips Exeter Academy. You'll see Overend and him each take a side. Now here's the movement from North Carolina, trying to get anyone freed up. 28 seconds on the shot clock. Here's Overend, he finally goes out to push McGovern. Joy, one-on-one -on -one with him, strips it. High point with the takeaway. Campbell Posen, the grad transfer from Christopher Newmayer. Shot wide from Ryan Hines. With a full shot clock. Don't know if that was the best shot selection, but they did have the backup. It's Colin Rovier. He pulls back, gets short side. What a goal to stop the turn. And the snipe makes it 11-9 in high point. Down by just two now. This game fully in their grasp with 7.09. Both the Fogos are still on for each team. Duffy gets around. North Carolina trying to get more space for their offense to work. Duffy's got the one-on-one -on -one with the shorty. He's got Tyler Baird. Hits a crossover. Swim move. Great double team, and the ball gets stuck, so they're gonna blow a whistle, and I believe it's North Carolina ball, so Coach Bresci perfectly times his. Here's Duffy, gets it back for Tillman. Tillman has a pull. Stops and goes, tries to get it in. Thought he might have it short side as it's dropped, and it seems like it's a loose ball push going against North Carolina. So High Point taking it back with a chance to make it a one goal. Here's Tommy Meehan. Gets over the top. Gets it for Maia. Tied for the lead and goals in the country. And they needed him most right then and there. Makes it alive. Now storming all the way back from the 11 to five deficit. With five straight goals, High Point gets it, and there's a crucial takeaway for North Carolina, but can they clear it? They've been good on clears all day, 20 of 20. Tillman, one up. The second midfield unit on the field for the Tar Heels. McGovern up top for Dominic Petromala with one goal on the day. Zinsner 
has to throw it one-handed. It looked like he had his hand taken away by 71 Posen. Could have been a tie game here. Andrew Geppert, the grad transfer from Brown, getting on his hands, not letting him get topside. Perfectly executed. No timeouts left for the Panthers. One for North Carolina, 145, 50 seconds on the shot clock. Kahn has the shorty on Frankenheimer. Inside, what a save, Krieg! Shuts the door, second chance, the rebound! Kahn scores, high point, ties it up late. 11-11 game with a minute 32 left in the fourth quarter. Krieg comes up with possibly the biggest save for the final shot. 12 seconds separate the shot clock and game clock, so they will have to go. And if they wait the entire time, it will still leave around 12 to 15 seconds for North Carolina if they do not convert. And even if they do, there is a chance to win it off the faceoff. But High Point has been very, very good at the faceoff dot, winning that 16 to 10 right now. Here's Meehan up to Maya. Two, they're gonna want the ball late. Backhand in front, backhand shot. They score. Jack Sawyer on the BTB pass from Braden Maya. High point, seven straight goals to make it 12 to 11. And they take the lead with 22 seconds left. Never giving up. The Panthers have rallied. McGovern's been having the best day offensively, but Owen Duffy's always been their go-to guy. Here's DeMarco on a run through X. Six seconds left. Now five. Three seconds. Got to shoot. Duffy gets free. They miss. High point. Does it. Seven straight goals to get the comeback win. 12 to 11. And High Point wins for the first time against the Tar Heels in Chapel Hill. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my what a God. game for the Panthers. What a moment for the program.